Hello, my name is Elena. I live in New Bedford and work at the library. Today I'm reading a book, The Land of Knowledge, written by Pupshkin Tim. The main character in the book, a cat named Pupshkin, based on, on my friend's cat, who also has two colored eyes. Pupshkin, The Land of Knowledge. Pupshkin and Pepin squabbled loudly. Baba Fly taped the chalkboard twice. Tsh, tsh. Dearest pupils, is your argument more important than Egypt's history? Pupshkin raised his hand. I'm sorry, teacher, but which one of us made the better board? Baba Fly scolded the pair. Neither. You both lack the knowledge found in the great library. Pepin, please. Turn around and pay attention. Baba Fly continued. The great library of Alexandria was founded by King Ptolemy. His name was pronounced Ptolemy. The library contained hundreds of thousands of scrolls made from the papyrus plant. The word paper is derived from papyrus. Tired from their argument, Pupshkin and Pepin fell asleep. When they awoke, they wondered where they were. The teacher spoke, Dearest pupils, you have traveled far to these great walls of wisdom. How can I help you? Mm, we want to go home, Pepin replied. The teacher raised a finger. First, you need to know how to build a sailboat. We'll call it Trirem. I know how to build a pink, a pink boat. Pepin stated. Pupshkin countered. But my black and blue boat was better, so... Wonderful! How were your boats designed? asked the teacher. Pupshkin answered. An iceberg once sank a great boat, so I designed my boat to be invincible. I read a story about a girl with a fish tail, said Pepin. So my boat, boat's rudder is shaped like a fishtail. Wonderful, responded the teacher. The servants shall help you reconstruct your boats. Pupshkin and Pepin refused the help of the servants and began to build. The, and began to build. The teacher announced, when your boats are ready, we will travel to the port of Alexandria. Arriving at the port, Pupshkin was amazed by a towering tower. What's that? Pepin answered. It's a lighthouse of Alexandria. I read in a scroll that it is 120 meters tall. As the teacher proudly added, yes, and it was founded by our king, King Ptolemy. After the boats were launched into the harbor, they immediately began to flounder. Pepin asked the teacher, Can we acquire knowledge from the great library to build better boats? The teacher responded, Absolutely. Pupshkin and Pepin returned to the great library with the servants and studied mathematics. With their newly acquired knowledge, their boats were much improved. Sailing majestically in the harbor, Pushkin puffed out his chest and said, It's obvious that my boast is the best. Admiring her billowing sails, Pepin replied, I read more scrolls than you, so clearly my boat is the best. The argument continued and... Crash! The teacher cried out, Oh, dearest pupils, this is my fault. I should have taught you history, and that history repeats itself. Fighting always leads to disaster. After watching their boat sink, they committed to working together as a team. The servants also taught Pupshkin and, and Pepin how to return home. Later that night, the teacher said her farewell. Dearest pupils, with knowledge, you can go where you want to go. Without it, you are told where to go. 
and Pepin waved goodbye, she said. Teacher, the servants taught us how to follow the stars and the ocean's currents to return home, Pupshkin added. Can they also go where they want to go? The teacher slowly wiped a tear from her cheek and said, absolutely. Accompanied by their new friends, sailing under the starry, starry skies, Pupshkin and Pepin returned home from the land of knowledge. Baba Fly taped the desk with her pointer. Shh! Wakey! Wakey! Pupshkin and Pepin yawned. When they awoke, a flurry of waving hands greeted them. Baba Fly spoke. Please welcome your new classmates. Pupshkin and Pepin wondered what had happened as Baba Fly continued. Dearest pupils, it will be my pleasure to welcome you to the land of knowledge. How can I help you? The end.